Robots might be replacing thousands of soldiers soon, an army rep confirmed. So let's look at what some of these could do. Hey, this is Annie for D News. Will soldiers be swapped out with robots? It's happening, and according to General Robert Cohn, head of training and doctrine command for the U.S. Army, they're considering cutting brigades from about 4,000 to about 3,000, replacing those spots with robots or other unmanned vehicles. This is not a new initiative, though. In 2003, a program called Future Combat Systems was put in place to build four different types of robots. Unmanned aerial vehicles, aka drones, small unmanned ground vehicles that can go into dangerous places and collect intelligence, mule vehicles that provide combat support, and armed robotics vehicles that can carry weapons or more sophisticated surveillance equipment. One current example is the Mars vehicle, which can post up in remote areas that human personnel can't get to and operate on the front lines with a combination of sensors, cameras, and fire detection systems. Another example in use are South Korean guard robots that patrol the border of North Korea. These can see anyone within about two and a half miles and demand an access code, set off an alarm, and yes, even open fire. The obvious advantages well, robots could perform dangerous or longer-term jobs in place of humans, and of course, robots don't need health insurance. But if you are having Terminator-themed visions of killer robots, you're not alone. A UN expert recently called for an international ban on lethal autonomous robots that can choose who lives or dies. For now, though, there are still some pretty big technical hurdles in building the free-thinking kill bots that none of us really want running around. And for more on that, check out my prior story on the DARPA Robotics Challenge that took place in December, showing off some of the most advanced robots currently in the works. And for more on how aerial drones are already being used in combat, take a look at Anthony's overview of how drones are deployed currently. So do you see robot armies as a good thing? As always, you can let us know what you think on Twitter or Facebook at DNews. And you can get in touch with me at Annie Gauss or head over to my other show at youtube.com slash techfeed. Thanks for watching.